Hello guys, today's video is pretty special because I'll show you how to face and ace the Concentrix voice worsen test with my 6 expert tips to boost your worsen score. If you're wondering why clearing the worsen test is crucial for getting a job at Concentrix, then let me tell you. Nowadays, almost all companies hiring for international businesses and processes where direct client interaction is mandatory have made it necessary to pass this test to meet their client handling and hiring standards. So stay with me till the end of this video because I'll share all the essential tips and tricks to help you create this assessment and secure the job offer. Let's get started. This test has six sections. Part A, reading. Part B, repeat. Part C, short answer questions. Part D, sentence builds. Part E, story retelling. And part F, open questions. I will highlight key points to focus on during the test. And then I'll share some tips specific to each section to help you perform better. Let's move on to our first section, part A, which is the reading. In this section, you will see eight sentences on your screen and an automated machine, or you can call it bot, will ask you to read the sentence randomly. For example, the bot will say, please read sentence number four, and you will read sentence four displayed on your screen. Then the bot will say, now, read sentence number seven, and you will proceed with sentence seven and so on. Aapko one, two, three, four sequence mein sentences nahi bol. Bot aapko randomly sentences read karne ko bolega. Trust me, this is the easiest section of this test, and you should aim to score as high as possible in this section. Now, there are a few things that you need to keep in mind. Make sure to read the exact sentence that is requested and not anything else. If you're asked to read sentence number five, then you shouldn't read sentence one. You will have 15 seconds to read each sentence. And if you remain silent for six seconds and do not speak at all, the machine will automatically move on to the next section. Remember, there are only two things that will be evaluated in this section, your fluency and pronunciation. Therefore, your entire focus should be on speaking the sentences fluently without hesitation or using fillers. For example, if the bot says, Please read sentence number seven. And if the sentence says, he cooks hamburgers and leaves his dirty dishes in the sink all night, then you must read it loud and clear without fumbling. Fumble karte hi, ya fillers use karte hi, you will get negative mark. Let me explain you a section mein numbers kaise kar. Let's understand through an example. He cooks uh, hamburgers and leaves his uh, dirty dishes in uh, the sink all night. Yahan par aapne jab un a ya fillers use kiye, bot will take it as you have some reading issues and you will be marked down. You must read sentence loud and clear and in a flow. You should read it like this. He cooks hamburgers and leaves his dirty dishes in the sink all night. Remember, in this section, bot will only check your fluency and pronunciation. Let me give you a tip that will help you to score maximum in this section. If sentence says, he cooks hamburgers, and instead of saying hamburgers, you end up saying burgers, then do not try to correct that because bot is only checking your fluency. Just go with the flow and complete the sentence. Keep going and read the rest of the sentence without using fillers. Fluency is the key to success in this section. Let's move on to our next section, part B, repeat. In this section, you will hear an automated voice that will speak a sentence to you and you must repeat it exactly as you hear it. This sound is all about listening and repeating the sentences. For example, the machine will say, leave town on the next train and you must respond by repeating, leave town on the next train. Be loud, clear and fluent. You will encounter a total of 16 sentences and for each sentence, you will have 15 seconds to repeat it. However, if you remain silent for six seconds or fail to speak at all, the machine will proceed to the next sentence automatically and you will get a negative marking for not attempting the sentence. The only difference is that in the previous section, you had sentences written on the screen, whereas in this section, you need to listen to the sentences and then repeat them. Ya bhi thoda sa easy sound kar ga, because first two or three sentences will be very easy, which you can easily understand and repeat without any problems. However, as you will move on, these sentences will become longer and more challenging, which you might have issues in memorizing or understanding. 
especially with an american or british accent bahut sare candidates ke sath ye hota hai that they are not able to understand the accent they are not able to comprehend or understand the sentences at all due to the foreign accent bas ek cheez yaad rakhna kisi bhi sentence ko skip nahi karna and not attend it nahi chhodna you must say something to avoid the negative marking it's essential to always respond even if you do not fully understand the sentence for example if machine says the driving instructor did not think peter was ready to take the exam and let's assume you missed half of the sentence or you did not understand anything at all due to the foreign accent for aapke bas driver or peter hi yaad raha so what you can do in this case is you can say my driver peter could not take me to the market because it has been raining since morning when we forgot almost everything aur hame sirf driver and peter yaad raha sentence ka jo bhi part yaad hai ya samajh aaya usko lekar apni language mein ek sentence construct kar do which is grammatically correct remember in this section machine will check your fluency pronunciation and sentence mastery सेंटेंस समझ नहीं आया तो भी एक रैंडम ग्रामेटिकली करेक्ट सेंटेंस बोल दो फ्लुएंटली दैट विल डू द जॉब माई सजेशन वुड बी टू से रियलिस्टिक एंड लिसन केयरफुली टू दी सेंटेंसेस से एग्जैक्टली वॉट यू हेयर यूज दिस हेल्पफुल टिप ओनली वेन यू एनकाउंटर डिफिकल्ट टू हेल्प यू फील कंफर्टेबल विद दिस सेक्शन हे आर फ्यू सिंपल सेंटेंसेस यू कैन इधर टेक अ स्क्रीन शॉट और पॉज दिस वीडियो टू रीड दैम एंड प्रिपेयर बेटर Let's move on to our next section part C short answer question you will hear a short question and you need to answer with a single word or a single phrase for example bot will say would you get water from a bottle or a newspaper and you answer from a bottle or a bottle remember you just need to say only one word and do not repeat the entire sentence you will only hear the question once you will encounter a total of 24 questions you will get 15 seconds to give a short answer and the same rule is applicable here as well if you will remain silent for 6 seconds or fail to speak at all the machine will proceed to the next sentence automatically and you will get a negative marking for not attempting the sentence jaise last section mein hua tha first two or three sentences will be very easy which you can easily understand and answer without any problems however as you will move on the sentences will become longer and more challenging american or british accent may create some understanding issues and yes sare upcoming sections mein yahi hone wala hai first two or three sentences will be very easy to make you get comfortable and then the sentences will become longer and more challenging with the accent issues jab test attempt karoge you will yourself get to know what i'm referring to Remember in this section bot will only check your vocabulary and nothing else because you just need to give a single answer kisi bhi sentence ko skip nahi karna or not attempt nahi chhodna you must say something to avoid negative mark to make you feel comfortable with this section let me share few sample sentences as well i hope these examples will help you prepare better feel free to take a screenshot or pause this video and read these examples part d sentence builds in this section you need to rearrange the word groups into a sentence means you will hear three short phrases the phrases will be in a random order and we need to rearrange them into a sentence example what will say was reading my mother her favorite magazine and our reply would be my mother was reading her favorite magazine you will only hear the sentence once you will encounter a total of 10 sentence build questions you will get 15 seconds to build the sentence if you remain silent for 8 seconds or fail to speak at all the machine will proceed to the next section automatically again the first two or three sentences will be very easy but later it will become challenging due to long sentences and accent issues since we cannot skip any sentence due to a negative marking part we must listen to all three phrases carefully and try to rearrange them quickly remember in this section the bot will calibrate you on the basis of your fluency pronunciation and sentence mastery 
There are three keys to success in this section. Listen carefully to the instructions and prompts to understand the context before constructing your sentences. Focus on using proper grammar and sentence structure while constructing your answers. Speak fluently and avoid unnecessary pauses or hesitations. Trust me, someone who is good with sentence construction and listening skills won't have any issues in clearing this section. But if you still face difficulties with understanding or rephrasing long sentences and are not able to comprehend anything due to the accent, then use these tips. Let's look at another example. Some rule changes decided to recommend the committee and you could not understand or you're not able to arrange it, then say a different sentence altogether. But be sure to be loud, clear and maintain a fluency. If you only understand one word in the whole sentence, mein, example, decided to, then this is what you can do. You can say, me and my friend decided to go to the market in the morning. So using that specific word which you understood, basis that create a complete new sentence. But at least say something. Kisi bhi section ko blank nahi chhodkiyan. We all can create short sentences of our own, and this is what you can do. Again, I do not recommend doing this at all. I'm saying use these tricks to avoid negative marking or when you get stuck and left with no other option. Let me share a few sentence build samples. Hope these examples will help you in better preparation. Feel free to take a screenshot or pause the video to read them. Let's move on to our next section. Story retelling. This section is pretty similar to what we have in non-voice version. In this section, you will hear three short stories. Each story will be spoken once, followed by a beep. When you hear the beep, you will have 30 seconds to retell the story in English. Let me share a simple story. At a party yesterday, there was a big cake for a big crowd. When the party was done, there was only one piece of cake left. A young boy and a young girl both wanted to eat it, but the boy took the piece of cake for himself. And after the girl cried, he decided to give the piece of cake to her. The boy's parents were pleased to see that. When you're listening to the story, make sure you understand the main ideas and the key details. Remember, you do not have to memorize everything word to word. If you can do that, that will be fantabulous. Focus more on understanding the main content of the story and what exactly is the story all about. Try to retell the story as much as you can, including the situation, arguments, characters, action and ending. I remember when I used to attempt this kind of test, I first used to create a picture of the situation and story in my mind. Pehle main characters ko, situation ko aur content ko samaj leta tha. Then I used to retell the story in my own language and in my own words. So let's do one thing. Let me try to apply the same concept on this story. So the key points of the story may look like this. Point number one. I learned that there is some sort of birthday party going on and they had a cake cutting ceremony. Point number two. Quite a few people had gathered to attend the party. Point three. Only one piece of cake was left which boy and girl wanted to eat. Now it's time to retell the story in our own words. There was a big party going on and quite a few people gathered to attend the party. They had a cake cutting ceremony followed by the dinner. The party went till late and almost everyone left as they had to go to the office next morning. The boy started eating cake but when the girl started crying, he gave that piece of cake to her. The boy's parents were very happy to see him sharing and being kind. It was a sweet moment that showed how being kind can make others happy. I know I changed the story a little, but I tried to maintain my fluency. I did not fumble at all because I know the moment I'll start using fillers and do O and R, I will be marked down by the bot. My story's characters, actions and arguments were pretty close to the original story and that's what is required. And this is the same concept that you need to apply in all three stories. Now time to discuss some tips for clearing this section. First thing first, this test will be checked by a bot and not by a human being. Bot will only check your fluency, grammar, pronunciation and vocabulary. This means you have a scope of playing with words. If you do not understand the passage at all due to the American accent issues or you understood only half of the story, then my suggestion would be to create a story of your own including the details what you remember from the story told. Example. You can literally talk about your own birthday party and keep talking until you hear a beep sound, which is an indication to stop. 
let's try to apply this rule, including your birthday party's details into it. There was a birthday party going on and quite a few people gathered to celebrate it. I also celebrated my birthday last week and invited a lot of friends to my place. I wanted to go out of town initially, but my parents wanted me to spend the entire evening with them. And they advised me to call my friends at our own place. We had a cake cutting ceremony and after that, we had dinner which we ordered online. Unfortunately, there was only one dish left which a boy and girl both wanted to eat. We also ordered few snacks online. We had few drinks, danced together and my friends gave me gifts. They left at 1 in the morning and said bye to my parents. My parents were really happy that I was with them for the entire night and they gave me blessings. Did you see how we constructed this story into our own words? The idea is keep your pace. Be fluent. Doesn't matter what you're talking. Try to be realistic as much as you can. But if you get stuck, you're not able to find any ways of completing the story. Add something on your own. Make sure your pronunciation is up to the mark. You're grammatically correct and fluent. Fluency and grammar is the key here. If you wish, before taking this test, you can prepare one or two short passages of your own choice which are grammatically correct and has decent vocabulary and you can very smartly adjust them into your stories. Let me share a few samples of story reader. Hope these examples will help you in better preparation. Feel free to take a screenshot or pause the video to read them. Now let's move on to our last section, open questions. This is basically a free speech round where you have to share your opinions on the given topic for at least 40 seconds. You will hear two questions about your personal life or personal choices. Each question will be spoken twice, followed by a beep. When you hear the beep, you will have 40 seconds to answer the question. At the end of 40 seconds, you will hear another beep and another question. Let me share a sample question. Should parents choose the course of study for the children or should children choose their own course of study? Please explain your thinking. And as I said earlier, the test will be checked by a bot and not by a human being. This means you're free to write anything that you wish till the time you're grammatically correct, using a decent vocabulary, fluent, and your pronunciation is up to the mark. Let me share a sample of how easy it is to play with words in this section because there is no specific format that you have to follow. Let's start, try to speak on this topic for 40 seconds. Decision of whether parents should choose their children's course of study or if children should make their own choice is an important topic. Sabse pehle to, jo bhi question poocha jai, question ko hi pura pardo and in the end, right, it's an important topic, right? And then you can proceed further. Let's do it again. The decision of whether parents should choose their children's course of study or if children should make their own choice is an important topic. Both sides have varied points to consider. On one hand, parents may want to select the course of study for their children to ensure they lead to success. The most memorable day of my life was when I went on a family vacation to the beach. It was a sunny day with a gentle breeze that made the air feel refreshing. We reached the beach early in the morning and I could hear the sound of the waves crashing against the shore. The sight of the vast ocean filled me with excitement. On that day, my father mentioned that he would like to decide the course of study for me as he has more experience and knowledge about different careers and opportunities. Fortunately, it was my birthday. I told my parents that I would agree to let them choose the course of study for me only if they bought me a guitar. I've always believed that playing the guitar for 15 minutes before starting to study helps me memorize better. My father also shared that this is how his father helped him in choosing his own course of study. Funny, by the way, I could have easily spoken on this topic for 40 seconds without deviating from the main idea. I did all these changes to show you how simple it is to speak on a specific topic or retell stories in this test. The topic which I ask you to prepare before taking the test will surely help you in these two sections, section number five and section number six. Trust me guys, it's very easy to clear this test. If you know how to play with words, have your pre-prepared topics ready, maintain fluency and you're grammatically correct. It will become a piece of cake for you to clear this test. Let me share a list of common topics to help you prepare for this section. Feel free to take a screenshot or pause the video to read them. And one last thing, once you clear your worsened test, your next round of interview will be an operations round where the hiring manager will definitely ask you a few questions. For example, if you're applying as a fresher, then they will surely ask you what do you know about BPOs or 
why do you want to work with BPOs? If you're applying as an experienced professional, then they will definitely ask you, why did you leave your previous job? I've already created videos on all these topics, which you should definitely check out if you want to have a job offer. I'll share the link of these videos in the description box or at the end of this video. As if you think this video has added some value or increased your knowledge, then do give me a thumbs up. If you want to appreciate my hard work, then consider giving me a like and subscribe to my channel, Hiring Guru Official, and turn on the bell icon so that you get notified about all my future videos. That's all for now, and I'll see you in my next video. You take care of yourself. Bye-bye now.